in this video, I'm going to tackle this space. It is a closet in my boys' bedroom. It has clothes of various seasons, curtains, lin lids of Lego bins we don't even own anymore. I'm pretty afraid of spiders, and I was pretty sure I was going to find some in this closet today. So every time I picked up clothes, I was a little bit fearful that I would find an insect or an arachnid just waiting for me to disturb its home. But what I should have been afraid of was this backpack that I had shoved into this closet three years ago, apparently after a rainstorm. Oh no, that's mold. There was some sentimental stuff I had to address when I decluttered this closet today. I'm really glad I filmed it and I talked through all of my decisions and kind of how I came across stuff to get to a actual blank canvas closet there, which I will show you the end result of the bags of trash, the donations, the things that I took out of the closet that I need to find a home for somewhere else. It's a mess and it's not functional anymore. And there's definitely some stuff I can declutter and get rid of and simplify in this closet today. So I thought we would do that together. Welcome to the channel, I just stepped on a car. My name is Erica Lucas and I share videos about simple living and slow living. I don't know, there's a couple ways I could go about this. I could take everything out and deal with it, but I probably am just gonna do it piece by piece, just in case I lose energy and then I've got stuff all over the boys' bedroom. So what I'm going to do is do this in a step-by-step, item-by-item decision-making process. Good backpack, we're keeping this. Okay. These are gonna go in my kitchen. So I have two bins that I keep in here for the boys clothes that don't fit either out of season or too big. And so I have a whole bunch of stuff that's thrown on the floor in there that just, I didn't bother to open the bin, it was probably locked. So what I'm gonna do though, is take the two bins first, pull out anything we need for summer, tag them as winter or too big. So as I go, I have a spot to put the things that are on the floor right now. Okay, bin number one. Shoes that are too big. Winter. Let's just yank out summer. And leave winter. And leave shoes that are too big. So now I can just put winter stuff I find in the closet into this particular bin. Okay, these... Okay, well, my seven-year-old is all set for summer shorts. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw them right into his laundry bin. And then when it's his laundry day, I'll get his summer stuff into his rotation. Here's the other bin. Winter pajamas and winter pants. So I'm transitioning from this bin to this bin, just so I can fill this and have it be done needs to be able to close flat without compromising. Okay, so now any more winter stuff I find, I can put in this top one, and then this will be pulled out probably in like October. Now, back to this closet. I'm a little bit afraid of finding like a spider who's made a home in that pile in the closet. Probably gonna need a trash bag too. Pretty excited to find some swim stuff. That's great. I'm finding stuff that's too small for my youngest. So this is the start of a donate pile. Shorts for my oldest that will fit him this year. So I'm gonna put those in his laundry bin in that closet. Shorts that are too small for my oldest, too big for my youngest. So these will be stored up for next summer. And then just more winter stuff that I'm I'm just adding to this winter bin. I, I'm not sure how we ended up with an inordinate amount of pants, but I'm not trying to declutter anything until it's it's been tried on for them later. Bathing suit, my oldest. Some wetsuits. These were too small last year. Yeah, I mean I'm these still fit. I'm just going to wash them. Oh, those are hose. Bunch of beach towels or pool towels. 
So I'm going to just open them, shake them out for spiders, and then wash them and put them downstairs for the pool. One cleat. That's too small for any of my kids. Hopefully I can find the other one. They're like hardly used. My seven-year-old was like, I want to play soccer. And that was two shoe sizes ago. And got on the field, came back off. He's like, no, thank you. Need a minute. <laughs> okay, baby blanket from my mother. And all three of my kids have taken many, many, many hundreds of naps. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be buried with this blanket, so that's not going anywhere. <sighs> all three kids were also bundled up in this at some point. Ooh. I'm not having any more kids. So I actually want to save it for 20 or 30 years for my grandchildren. Look, honey, I gave your child the snowsuit that you wore when you were a teeny tiny little baby. My luck, all of my grandchildren will be born in the spring and summer and never even see this. I'm not saving this. I'm going to let it go. It is sentimental. It is adorable. And there is a baby coming this summer who needs this. N not my baby, a baby whose mom shops at the donation center. I can do hard things. I can do hard things. This is keep. Okay, that's where we're living now that I took the clothes out. I still have a good bit to go. Okay, this is a blanket I made for Andy on his first deployment when we were dating. He did a good job on this blanket. Um, I'm not getting, I'm not going to declutter it. But it's, it's spring and summer. We don't need it right now. I do have a linen closet where I can put it. I am just going to wash it first. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Size eight. Too small for my oldest, too big for my youngest. So that goes in summer next year. A hat that doesn't fit anybody anymore. So I will donate this one. Curtains. Let go, me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate these. I'm gonna donate this. Another pair of soccer cleats that are not gonna fit anybody. Some soccer socks, both donate. This is a hat. I don't think this fits my daughter anymore, but I'll ask her if she wants her son hat. Um, and shin guards, I'll also donate. Oh, oh both my boys wore this. This one is harder than the snowsuit because they wore this more often. I, in my head, I can see them in it. Mm. I'm hugging it and it's too hard. I'm hugging it. It's too hard right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not ready. Sometimes when I have to make a lot of decisions like I'm doing right now, when I come across something that is difficult to deal with, I don't make that decision because I've already made a lot of decisions before that decision presented itself. If I were to revisit that decision when this closet is organized and I didn't have you know 50 decisions in front of it, I might make a different decision about it. I might be less attached to it. I just visited with that emotion. I'm not ready to let go. I'm, I'm gaining momentum, but losing energy. So I have to keep going if I'm going to order, if I'm going to finish this closet today. Set of cleats. In theory, these would fit my younger two, but neither of them are, want to do soccer or baseball. So, okay. I'm gonna let them go. Okay, these are the lids to Lego bins that we trashed like two years ago. I guess they wanted to keep them to play with them, but then they ended up in this closet, which tells me they are now trash. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. 
one did I keep in there? Okay. Too small, too small, both donate. Okay. This was a diaper bag. A diaper bag backpack. What are, what am I storing in here? Binders. I know exactly what this was. Three years ago when we started teaching. Oh no, that's mold. Oh no. Ew. Three years ago when we started teaching. Yep, that's exactly what this is. Teaching at co-op. Small problem. There's mold on the items in this backpack. Not gonna take a chance with mold. That's a no joke kind of situation. Really glad it didn't spread in this closet where it was buried. It must have been a rainy day when I brought this back back home and shoved it in the closet. Really glad that mold didn't spread throughout the closet. I am gonna just do a check, but. I checked everywhere. I did not see any mold. Here we go. Okay, so two bins of winter stuff and one bin of summer next year. That's the donate pile. I'm gonna put that in a bag. Two bags of clothes for donation. Two bags of trash. These lids are trash. A bunch of empty bins. I'm just gonna put in the basement for now. These things I'm gonna find a hot spot for in the kitchen to just improve storage space. If I can't find a spot, I'll donate them. And that's a bin of Barbies my daughter doesn't want to play with anymore. And no spiders. So that was good. <laughs> now I got to carry it all downstairs and deal with it. Thank you for spending time with me today. I'm going to take the trash out. Here is a video where I decluttered the other closet. Hope you're doing well and see you in that video.